So, um, as you all know, clinical trials uh, participation is both crucial for medical advancement and an important treatment option at, uh, at times, the only one uh, for patients with cancer. So also we know that a very low percentage of patients with cancer worldwide enroll into such clinical trials. So different factors have been implicated and um, in underlying this low participation. Um, but uh, we decided through belong.life, which is an application, a social media application of patients with cancer and caregivers, uh, which is a free, anonymous, and worldwide available uh, application, we decided to look at uh, the patients and caregivers' perceptions, uh, the knowledge, their knowledge, and their experience with clinical trials, and we assess it via a unique uh, digital health uh, platform, which is specialized in uh, cancer patients. We send a survey and uh, to patients with a variety of cancers um, in and 290 North American patients and Israeli patients, uh, members of uh, of the social media application belong.life. They anonymously and voluntarily reply to a 10 question survey, which um, detail their demographics and diagnosis and experience with uh, clinical trials as a treatment option. Of these uh, patients, of the 290 patients uh, that participated, as I said, 73% were based in, the, in North America, and the majority were females, a ratio of one to three. So um, as a result of that, they were the most common diagnosis was breast cancer and followed by lung cancer, colorectal cancer, and ovarian cancer. And uh, most of the patients, uh, we'll say nearly 60% of them, were in advanced stages, stage three and four. Um, what we saw is that um, nearly half of the patients, 46% of the patients, not heard about clinical trials uh, participation as a treatment option. And um, they were not familiar with chemotherapy as a treatment option. And they will, most of them, 92%, uh, replied that they would like to know more about it and they were concerned that they never heard about it before. Um, when they heard about it, they heard it in a third of the patients from their medical staff, but also 26% of the patients uh, heard it uh, by surfing the internet and from multiple online resources, and 25% heard it from our own Belong uh, application, uh, because one of the things that the Belong application does is offers these patients uh, in free uh, to have their clinical situation matched for a clinical trial wherever they are. So that was mainly the, you know, what was found in, in, this, uh, in this survey. Due to the fact that um, only half of the patients uh, were uh, aware of clinical trial participation, then there is a huge gap and um, in that gap of uh, the patients that did not receive any information or didn't have any information before, uh, they express an enormous interest in to be better, you know, informed in the, for the future. So we believe that the medical staff is a key source for clinical trials awareness. And while patients are exposed to multiple online sources of information, um, you know, still they require a lot of input coming from the medical uh, staff and um, some emphasis should be 
uh, placed in providing uh, personally tailored clinical trials information to all cancer patients and caregivers at the time of diagnosis. And um, I believe that uh, the trial confirms that digital health uh, platforms are an important source uh, for patients' clinical trial awareness. Well, I, I would like to reinforce what I just said in, uh, just now, and uh, would like to see that clinical trials are always, when possible, offered as a, a treatment option to our patients. And uh, when that happens, then we will see that the percentages of uh, patient accruement into uh, clinical trials will be much higher than the current one.